My name is Donna McCallum, and I am a fantastically fabulous and magical fairy godmother. In each of these episodes, I will be covering one of the 10 tips in more detail. And just so that you don't miss out, here are the 10 tips. Tip number one, be authentic. Tip two, play to your strengths. Tip three, have fun. Do what you love and love what you do. Tip four, it's your choice. Tip five, learn to learn. Tip number six is dream big. Tip number seven, take action. Tip number eight, overcome your fears. Tip nine, build support around you. And tip 10, gratitude. Today we're looking at the second tip, playing to your strengths. What do you think this means? What it means is find out what you're good at and do what you're good at. How many of you have had this experience? You come home from school with your report and guess what? You got an A for history and you got a B for English. But you also got a D for biology and an E for accountancy. What do your parents say? They probably say that you need to work more on your biology and accountancy, right? They may even send you to extra lessons. While it's important for you to work hard and do well in all of your subjects in school, playing to your strengths is about finding out what subjects you're good at, the subjects that you're passionate about, and they're the ones that you enjoy the most. So if biology and accounting are not your thing, and clearly you're great at English and history, then concentrate on the careers where English and history are important. Don't go and do the accounting degree, even if your father wants you to do it. Go and do the English and history degree. Tiger Woods started playing golf when he was four years old and his parents didn't say to him when he was 12, wow, Tiger, you're so good at golf, you're such a good sportsman, maybe you should also try basketball. No, he was so good at golf, so he focused on the golf and now he's the best golfer in the world. Some of you may already know what you're good at and some of you are still discovering what you're good at and what, that's what your teens and your 20s is all about but I'm now gonna give you a quick exercise about how to reveal your strengths. The trick is that you will find your strengths in the things that you love to do, the things that you're passionate about. You know you have those times when you're doing something and time just seems to disappear. Do you know what I mean? When you do these things, your soul lights up. So on a sheet of paper, I'd like you to write down this heading. The heading is, my soul lights up when I. Now spend 10 minutes writing down all the things that you can think of that make your soul light up. And in this list are your strengths. Make sure